Here we look at the startup transient of this self-oscillating flyback DC to DC converter. In particular, we're going to look at how the selection of the current limit set point impacts the startup transient. To perform a startup analysis, we'll set the initial conditions of all the capacitor voltages and inductor currents equal to zero. We'll also set the input voltage to undergo a step transient from 0 to 310 volts after a delay of 100 microseconds with a rise time of 100 microseconds. We'll run this transient analysis for a duration of 14 milliseconds. Performing this analysis requires the simulation of over 500 DC to DC conversion cycles. We'll take advantage of Simplice's piecewise linear analysis to perform this simulation quite quickly. To examine the impact that the current limit set point has, on the startup transient, we'll look at the drain current of the main power switch. We'll hide the drain voltage for the moment. And we can see that zooming in, the peak current in the main power switch is slightly in excess of 900 milliamps. We can also see that, in fact, the transformer is going into saturation causing the drain current to spike quite dramatically during the early portion of the startup transient. If we zoom out again we can see that once the output voltage reaches its regulation zone the drain current is very well behaved and the transformer is not in saturation. To avoid saturation, we will need to lower the current limit set point. And we can do this by increasing the current sense resistor. Well, in this case, look at what happens when we increase the resistor to 2 ohms. By looking at the simplest status window, we can see that this second simulation run took slightly over 11 seconds of CPU time. We can compare our current most recent results with the earlier results and we can see that the indeed the peak current of the main power switch is much lower than it was in our initial run. Zooming in we can see that in this first several cycles the main power switch uh, goes up to about 450 milliamps and it's just on the edge uh, of saturation of the transformer. But we can see that it is in fact much lower than our previous uh, experience of over 900 milliamps. Zooming out again we can see that once the output voltage is in uh, regulation, the two peak currents are essentially identical. We can compare the output voltage of these two uh, cases, first looking at the first case where we have the higher current limit set point, and then in the second case, where we've lowered the current limit set point by increasing the resistor R2 to 2 ohms. And here we can see that uh, we've managed to avoid hard transformer saturation in the second case, but it now takes slightly longer for the output voltage to reach its regulation range.